not it's so easy, just couple techniques, you'll be able to finish a wonderful painting. I'm going to do these demonstrations based on the wash that we already performed. And let's take a look at this area. We already did a, a, a gradient wash and starting from darker blue color and gradually turn into a lighter blue colors by just adding more and more water uh, as going down from the top to the bottom. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to draw uh, the, the picture and this is how I'm going to draw. This is the land and this is the area that's going to be darker and, and I have there like a like a river or the road path and coming down this way and we have want to have a couple of trees on this side okay so that with the drawing can help us to make up the mind and what we would like to do here and the tree over here bigger tree and some smaller trees on the side and have like that and we want to also create a moon and this the, the pre-washed background it looks like very much like a, a night scene so we're going to develop uh, based on what we already have done okay the first thing we're going to do the first technique is wash okay we're going to wash over a dried layer and the previous wash is already dry so what we're going to do we're going to create our, we're going to use a darker colors. Let's take the blue colors and with the red colors together, the red colors, and make sure with their blue colors. And with less water, and the color would look darker. Let's make that. That's also a good color. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to uh, wash into the area that will be the, for the tree and you can just let it keep going on this side that's just there that's called also glazing watercolor glazing on top of the other colors okay and refill the brush with the colors so it would keep their uh, darker colors in a brush, okay. And we want to put a little uh, a shape on the side, have the tree kind of shape. We might have to actually put a couple more uh, round later. And okay, just look at the tree, have more get in between. Okay, tap it this way. As the tree looks like a simple just another layer of color just wash it on the top and it would become a nice shape and then I'm going to probably tap a little darker color on the side over here because this is going to be shadow side and a little darker colors here and then underneath over here I'm also going to I'm going to add a little bit more water and create more paint for the for the ground. So, and dark purple colors, dark blue purple colors, that's what we want to here. And then coming in this side and blend into, into the tree area. And okay, and on the other side. We also want to have the color blending over here. Uh huh. Okay. And now we finish the ground, but we might going to put another layer over here so that it has a little bit darker tone on the road or the river over here. And but the next technique we're going to use. Uh, is lifting up. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we first, because it's already dry, the, the whole layer of paper, the color is already dry on the paper, so I am going to first wet the area that 
it's a good thing that we already did the pencil mark so we know exactly where we are going to uh, lifting off the colors so put the wet area wet uh, put the wet water in here and start lifting off remove the colors in this area okay just give you patience and you can uh, loosen the color again a little more and loosen the color and then clean the brush make sure the brush is clean and, and then just lifting off the color from this area and depends on how much color you want to lift off how clean you want it to be and you can doing this process a few more times and it will get wider and wider Very nice already. And let's get, get a little bit even more. And this is a one more round of technique we're gonna do. And this is called wash over. And after we're gonna do another glaze wash and which is we call wash wet on dry, but we're gonna wait until the whole area drives so that we can wash over with a flat brush. Okay, I think the moon is put it light now. And as soon as we wash another round so that it will create a bit bigger value contrast to make the light even pop up more. So let's uh, take a flat brush. And I think this is a three quarter inch brush, it's just good enough to do this job. Okay, let's loosen the, the hair of the brush. And what we're gonna do first, we're gonna take the blue colors, a little blue color over here. First, what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually fill in some of the areas at the bottom over here. I know the color is going to come in somehow. But that it is fine. We don't want that much value contrast at the bottom over here. So okay. Yeah. okay, good. And then the next thing we're gonna do, we're going to glaze over around the outside of the moon shape. Okay, we're gonna take the little blue colors. Over here, we don't have to add too much color to it. It's just a little bit more value contrast. It should be fine. Let's see. Let's just add a little blue colors around. Okay. Now create a little more contrast to around the moon. Yes, looks good. Maybe this too dark, uh, too too light. So I want to actually add something darker color in between over here, so that it's not going to take too much attention away from this area. Okay, and that's it. Simple technique and create a nice moonlight picture. by just using uh, two different techniques. One is just a wash and wash overlay on top of the dry layers. And then using lifting off technique to take away the colors. And after that, and we're also going to apply some a little bit darker colors around the lifting off areas so that it create uh, a bigger value contrast to make the moon look more